Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about internet, internet and SNS. I'm going to discuss about their meaning and differences. First of all, what is internet? Internet, as you know, is a global system of interconnected computer network. It is also defined as information superhighway to access information over the web. In order to know more about the internet, kindly check my previous video on internet technology. Now let us look at intranet. Intranet is defined as a private network of computers within an organization with its own server and firewall. So it is a private network which means it is not available to the outside world. So it is not available to the outside world. So it is a system in which multiple systems are networked together. It is a private network enterprise as seen in the image here different computers in an organization are linked to an internet network server so it is not available to the outside world you cannot see any system outside the environment so it is only totally functions within an organization so there are some benefits of internet one of them is that internet offers instant easy and cheap communication within an organization so it offers instant cheap and easy communication within an organization also internet is time saving so information that is shared on the internet is shared in real time so information on the inter internet is shared in real time so internet offers time saving also internet is platform independent so internet can connect computers and other devices with different architecture it does not depend on the system architecture so it is platform independent also, there are some issues with internet, such as denial of service, unauthorized access, loss of control, and many other users. So, this issue has been looked at, like unauthorized access, in which somebody that is not authorized to access the network server is able to access it and other things. Now, let us look at Escanet. Escanet refers to network within an organization using internet to connect to the outsiders in a control manner. As we know, internet is a network within an organization, but for Escanet, it also uses internet to connect to outsiders, but in a control manner. Also, it is a means of conveying information between members of the organization and external members with access to the network. So we can see the internal members of an of the organization here and also the external members, but they make use of internet to connect to them and they make use of firewalls to prevent some attack or uh, any other things. So they connect to each other but in a control manner. So SNS functions within an organization and also outside an organization unlike the internet. Let us look at the benefits of SNS. The first one is that it improves flexibility by making application and information available to all parties to operate with convenience. So it improves flexibility in the sense that both insiders and outside members are able to use the application or information available and they operate it with convenience so it improves flexibility in that way and also it helps improve security by creating different access levels different access levels have been created in the sense that the outside members have a range have a level of information in which they have access to and also the internal member have a level of access in which the asset they have access to in the information so there is different level of access for them also also there are several issues with escanet just like the internet the first one is that escanet is vulnerable to security breaches because they give outsiders access to the uh, internal database as you know the outside members make use of internet to connect to the internal server so they are vulnerable to security breaches because of this because they give access to outsiders also it comes with high cost of maintenance internet comes with high cost of maintenance in the sense that we, we have to maintain the internal server also those that are connecting through the internet we have to maintain the internet and other things so it comes with high cost of maintenance now let us look at the differences between internet internet and internet now that we know the meaning of internet internet and internet so based on the basis of comparison the first one is description 
internet as you know is a global system of interconnected computer network so it is a global system of network it is a global network but internet is a network of computers or private network designed for a specific group of people so it is a private network and it is designed for a specific group of people but for Escanet, it is a private network that uses public network to share information so those in the organization the internal members make use of private network and the external members use public network so they use it to share information so it is also meant for a specific group of users also based on purpose the internet is a means of sharing information throughout the world so it is throughout the world location is not a barrier in internet but for internet it is a means of sharing sensitive and confidential information throughout an organization as you know internet functions only within an organization also escanet is a means of conveying information between members of an organization and external members just like i said it's only used to share information between members that is the internal members and the external members of the organization so based on regulation it is not regulated by any authority so internet is not regulated by anyone that is the reason why anybody can post anything on the internet anybody can see anything on the internet because it is not regulated by any authority but for internet it is regulated by specific organization so the organization that is using the private network regulates maybe through their organization policies and other things but for the internet it is regulated by multiple organizations in which the internal and the external organizations but they both regulate it and sometimes it may just be single organization that regulates it also based on the content of the network for the internet the content in the network is readily accessible by everyone who is connected to it so so far you are connected to the internet you can access to you can have access to the content on the internet so anybody can have access to whatever that is on the internet so far you are connected to the internet but for internet the content in this network is accessible to only members of the organization so the content of the internet is only accessible to only members of the organization and only members that have access to it not only just members you can be a member and uh, you are not authorized to have access to the network also for the internet the content on the network is accessible to members of the organization and external members with access to the network so it is available for internal members and external members that are authorized to access the content on the network also based on ownership internet has no ownership as you know internet has no ownership nobody owns the internet but for internet the ownership of internet is by single organization it is the organization that is using the private network that owns the network also for escanet the ownership of escanet is by a single or multiple organization just like i said there are multiple organizations can come together in which one organization will be the internal organization and the second organization will be external organization and things like that or even it may be single organization so ownership of escanet is by a single or multiple organizations also based on the mechanism of regulation internet as you know is unregulated and it is uncensored so internet is not regulated nobody regulates the internet that's why anybody can post anything on the internet and also for the internet it is regulated by organization policies so based on the policy of the organization the internet is regulated that way also for the escanet it is regulated by contractual agreements between organization based on contracts in which different organizations signed based on their memorandum of understanding and other things so it's regulated in that manner it's regulated based on the agreements they've agreed upon they've signed also based on the access users have unrestricted access and can access internet anonymously so for internet anybody can access it and we can access it anonymously we can even create false identity that's one of the disadvantages of internet so anybody can access the internet so where we are connected to the internet but for the internet it may be accessible from the internet but it's important to note that not all the times 
and most times it is not accessible from the internet but one thing that is important that is that it is protected by password and accessible to only authorized users so it is only authorized users that have access to the internet but for the scanet it may be accessible from the internet that is for the external users but it is protected by password and accessible to only authorized users so for the internet and internet it is only accessible to only authorized users but for internet it has unrestricted access also based on security in the internet is dependent of the user of the device to connect that connects to the network so the security of the user is dependent on the user of the device so the security is dependent on the user maybe through via the virus and other things that the user allows other things that the user click on the internet that the user allows to access the files of the device of the user and other things depends on the user but for the for the internet it is a force to firewalls so the organization makes use of firewalls to prevent attack and other things so they make use of firewalls to prevent attack denial service and in order not to lose control also the scanet if for the scanet it is also enforced to the firewall that separates the internet and scanet as you know the external members make use of internet so they make use of firewalls to prevent attack and other things also based on the information so for the internet it contains different source of information and it is available for just like i've been saying anybody can post anything on the internet and anybody can access it so the information on the internet is from different source of information and it is available for that's why we have fake news on the internet we have all sorts of things on the internet because anybody can post anything on the internet also for the internet it contains only specific group of information so it contains only information that is related to the organization so it contains only specific group of information also for the scanet it contains only specific group of information information that is related to the business information that is related to the reason why the network is set up now let us look at example of internet internet example of internet is the is the network in which we use to google us with so the, the type of network we use to google us we use to visit our social media and other things is an example of internet and for internet is an an example is an organization that uses internal network for its business operation for example bank can use internal network for its business operations can use it to store all the transactions they are for performing in the bank and other things also for scanet an example is when companies decide to use same network for related business operations for example the government security agencies like fbi cia and department of defense and other security agencies can come together to form a network for a specific operation so that is an example of internet so finally internet as you know is open to the entire world so internet is a global network so it is open to the entire world but internet internet is a private space it is a private network and internet is essentially a combination of both internet and internet so they make use of internet within the organization and the external members make use of internet to connect to the internet server so internet is like an internet that allows access to certain outside individuals or members so internet is essentially a combination of both public network and private network so if you have any question please feel free to drop it at the comment section and thank you for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you